I've suddenly or currently or recently started to use my Instagram a lot more and I've now had to step away from it again because of just how much of a time sink it is and because I've got this really strange thing I'm sure some of you guys probably feel the same way but I've got this really strange thing where I really dislike seeing people's life updates not sure if that makes any sense to you but I honestly dislike how Instagram forces you to see or to find out what people are up to now I understand the algorithm works because I think the algorithm, what it does, because for me, I have like several accounts. I have like, you know, I have like flipping Finsters and stuff that I use or random accounts that I use to check, you know, dance music um, news and whatever. So I won't log into my main account. So because I haven't technically logged in, my algorithm probably forces me to see stuff from my friends that they think I would like to see because it's updates on their lives. But they don't know that I don't want to see that, right? I the main reason why I don't want to be on that platform is because you kept get you kept get you know you kept getting given like a people's play by play. It's almost like a visual diary. You'll get into like no, and it's like a lot of these people. I don't really speak to them that much. I don't really know who they are anymore. I kind of knew who they were at one point in their life. I think they knew me at one point in my life. We're not really in the same places anymore. So to find out these, to find out what they're doing is just annoying. Don't get me wrong. It's nice for the first time. You check in and he's like, oh shit, there's that person I remember hanging out with. This person now is married. That person has a kid. This person has a dog. That person, unfortunately, a family member passed away. It's nice to know this so you can kind of offer your condolences and whatnot or, or send over your well wishes. But I hate how it's like done by force. Like I'm not learning this stuff the normal way, you know, where back in the day you might, you know, bump into this person at a bar. You might bump into them on the street somewhere, you know, walking down Columbia Road, flower market, like, oh shit, what's going on? Long time no see. You might be in Shoreditch going to buy some magazines and then you bump into them. Oh yeah, Wagwan. And then you get a little rundown on their life story. Cool. No problem. But I'm being forced to know and I don't like that. You know, I don't like being forced to know. Um, so I'm not really enjoying my experience on there. But I have also realized in my time going back on Instagram and flicking in between Instagram and Twitter, I've now realized how toxic Twitter is. Because I think because I use Twitter so often, I'm reading people's stuff and I just, you know, when I'm finished, I just check out of it and I just continue my day. I think because now I've been using Instagram more often, I can now compare and contrast. And yeah, what people say about Twitter is true, isn't it? Twitter is a cesspit of negativity. Instagram is almost like the positive version of Twitter, really. So I understand why people prefer to use Instagram. But like I said, I think Instagram sort of like forces you to share stuff about your life that you probably don't need to share um it forces you to learn things about people that you don't really know that well that you shouldn't probably know um and in general it's just an annoying platform really it just is an annoying platform um it, i just find it personally annoying i'd much rather read things articles see random funny clips on my flipping feed on on twitter than i am to see another person at a festival another person on holiday another person buying that like, shut I don't care. You know, I really don't. Congratulations to you. I'm happy you got these things, but I don't care. But it forces you to know it because people kind of want to engage that sort of information. So it kind of is what it is. But unfortunately, there is no like, I won't say perfect platform, but I guess you have to get what you want out of each one. So maybe if you want like goss, if you want news, if you want drama, you go on Twitter. If you want like visual stimuli, you go on Instagram. I know there are some people who just stick to using Instagram Reels. I don't really use it that much, to be fair. But I know there are some people who just, like, stay on Reels. They just go one one video after the other. They just spend all day on fucking Reels or sending each other memes and shit. So it's a bit different. Um, when I was using it for a bit, I was kind of, you know, making my own quote-unquote memes on my IG stories and stuff. But even that got a bit boring and tired. I was like, well, why am I sharing this? You know, what am I? Am I, like, a meme page now? Have I become a meme page? Am I fucking Aggie Bible? Is that what I am? And my fucking Aggie Bible, have I, have I become my own independent vice? Like, allow it. So I'm not on, the, on any of those anymore just because of how much of a time sink they are. And, and I have noticed, though, to be fair, since I've been back on IG, IG definitely is more of a time sink. I feel like it wasted way more of your time being on there. Um, I feel like I've missed out or I've kind of taken my foot off the pedal on a lot of work, like actual nine to five stuff, actual extracurricular stuff, you know, side project stuff because of the time I spent on IG. Like you can tell it definitely does take away a lot of your time. And sometimes you don't even realize it. You're like on there and just suddenly you're like a, you know, you're on this random page, someone else's page, you don't even fucking know. And it's been an hour. You're like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Whereas I think with Twitter, 
because of the nature of how toxic it is, there's only so much of it you can take. I think there's not a, there's probably not a soul on the earth who can stay on Twitter for like the whole day. You have to have a, you have to have a break. But I think with IG, if you wanted to, you could stay on there for an entire day and not get any work done happily. So I'm happy I've kind of taken my foot up the pedal on both of those things. Be like, you know what? Let's leave it as it is, you know, and do whatever it may be. And to be completely honest, like being back on those platforms has made me kind of like or made me appreciate taking pictures again and even making videos, like little vlogs and shit. Like I'd much rather capture my experience of where I went somewhere with, you know, some nice 35 millimeter pictures and shit, maybe some nice videos that I put together in a little vlog that I upload on my YouTube or something, or I put then later on and make that into a clip and edit and then put that on my socials. But showing like a play-by-play -play IG story of me going on a trip somewhere, that's never going to happen. Like never, ever, ever. That Those days are way, are way gone. Um, you know, you, you'll see stuff like after the fact, like after I've come back for like two weeks, you might see some posts go up, but mostly they'll probably be like 35 millimeter pictures because at least then I'm in the moment, you know, and I'm actually enjoying the thing. And I've kind of found that to be something that I've enjoyed way more. And to be fair, anyway, the last couple of times I've been away, I haven't actually even mentioned them on the pod, but the times I've been away, I haven't even taken any pictures anyway. I've just been there enjoying my fucking time, having a good time doing what I need to do, and then coming back and whatever it may be. But I need to kind of upload a play-by-play -play of like, oh, here's me on the way to the plane. Here's me at the fucking gate. Here's me with the window seat looking out for the fucking window. It's like, bro, no one needs to see that. We all go on holiday. We all see things. We all do things. It's like, <laughs> it's not really that interesting, really. But everyone just shares it. It's just like an auto, you know, it's like an auto thing. Everyone just shares it. Oh, look, here's me doing that. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm kind of tired of it. So I let it go. Um, but it was fun for the time being. But again, I was just annoyed that I was getting updated with people's fucking life updates again and again. It's like, bro, I don't want to know about what you're doing. I don't really care. I'm sure you don't even care about what you're doing, but you're just sharing it because the platform is a platform. So it is what it is.